It's really is a wonderful pleasure for me personally to welcome Christine. Um, so Christine is a senior lecturer at Rhodes University, is her day job, but she's also a very established and prolific um, artist who exhibits in South Africa, in Europe and the States, um, and whose work is held in many collections, both nationally and internationally. <coughs> she's also works very interestingly across media, so primarily a very accomplished printmaker, um, but she also works in mixed media, she works in film, she's ventured into painting, it's really, and as you can see from this exhibition, it is a sort of a multimedia space. Um, her work has been preoccupied mostly with the ways in which gender roles have been historically conditioned by society, by myths and by image making. Um, but she also has an ongoing investigation into colonial history, and particularly a colonial history that haunts Makanda, the town in which she lives and works, um, and by extension, South Africa and uh, the African continent. Um, and that really, which compels a kind of an ongoing preoccupation with Europe's legacy in Africa. Um, her work is meticulous, and she combines um, this absolute sense of a master craft, uh, if you like, sort of meticulous craftsmanship with archival imagery and deep research, um, which results in what Brenda, I think, describes very aptly as an interplay between the conceptual and the artisanal. I think that's, that's really what animates a lot of her work uh, and makes it so very compelling. Um, Christina's had a strong association with the Sarati Centre here at the University of Johannesburg, and she's had two previous exhibitions here one called At Bathurst Street, Makanda, and uh, recently The Harbingers. Um, her work has been the subject of research both by Professor Brenda Schmarman um, and others in the faculty. And in fact, this exhibition is really interesting because it um, includes a work that is constituted from a text written by Brenda. Um, and that responds to the sort of implicit of the trade-off um, of the title of the exhibition between language and image in Christine's work. So, Christine, I'm going to hand over to you. Um, I'm sure you'll express it much, much more articulate <laughs> way than my clumsy <laughs> phrasing. But thank you so much. Thanks. Welcome. Thanks. Thank you. And thank you all so much for coming. Um, yeah, it's always uh, into helps that people you know, spend time and energy actually getting here. So thank you so much. Um, and it's going to be fairly short. <laughs> so in 1966, the year I was born, Michael Foucault wrote a book. And please excuse my French. Le mot et la chose. So that a book, um, the English version of that book, came out in 1970, The Order of Things. And in that book, the first chapter is a chapter called Las Meninas. And on the one level, if you can read that chapter, it's a description of the painting uh, Las Meninas by Velasquez. But on another level, um, it is about uh, seeing, it's about representation, it's about the power relationships that go on, um, who gets to see and why we privilege some ways of seeing over other ways of seeing. This essay had a profound effect on me. I, uh, when I started to engage with it, it led me on journeys that I never would have expected. And um, I still am engaging with that uh, journey today. Um, <clears throat> it also made me understand and appreciate how the writing about an artwork, the labor that goes into the writing about an artwork, can have a profound effect on how one sees how I saw things, made me see differently, made me see the artwork differently. And 
more than they had expanded the way I understood the relationship between power and sea. And I have been privileged um, to have several deep thinkers write about my work and spend time thinking about um, things around my work. Um, one of them being James say. <laughs> But um, Brenda Schmarman has been the person who's engaged with my work over a sustained number of years. She's um, tracked through her prose many iterations of my work over the years. And she's also always written about my work with great sensitivity and insight. And this collaboration between Brenda and I, this conversation, could, on the one hand, be seen as a uh, collaboration and a conversation between two people, but it's also a conversation between words and images. And in the essay that Brenda wrote, um, that's on the wall behind me, <laughs> uh, not this wall, the other wall, <laughs> um, I, I wanted to honor that process, that process and that labor that goes into the writing about art and give it physical weight, not just, um, not just metaphorical weight, but that it actually became an object that you could engage with. And um, it actually is heavy because it's made out of cardboard. <laughs> um, so, so thank you, Brenda, for the sustained engagement. <laughs> so the other woman that I would like to honor this evening um, is someone who also had her way with words. In Brenda's essay, she mentions that the mask for the plague doctor, the one character that I work with in this series, um, so that mask is the white spirit maiden mask, and it was bought um, from a temporary store to set up the National Arts Festival in 2018. And it was that year that Jane Taylor stayed with me in Grahamstown. And I was thinking about these masks and I was hesitant and I didn't know if, if I should get them or if I could afford them, if they would work, if they wouldn't work. And we had some conversations around it and she came with me to the store and she encouraged me to buy the masks. So in a way, this is a tribute to her as well because this body of work wouldn't have happened if she hadn't encouraged me to buy those masks on that fateful day. So thank you, Jane Taylor, as well. Attention. So um, with that, I would like to say thank you again to everyone for coming and enjoy the exhibition. And
Mm-hmm. 